The world is changing beneath our feet as we speak. You know, if we think the last five years have been interesting in the way that the internet and digital has really disrupted things, the next five years we're going to see three billion new people come online. So the marketing departments that are really getting it are evolving. Holy have mercy, I didn't know this was going to turn out like this. So I want to start with this idea of how do we actually do this? How do we actually, if there's a lot of talk these days about us becoming media companies. You know, you see it all the time. We need to become like media companies. We need to become like publishing companies. We need to act like a media company. And you're starting to see a little bit of a backlash against that. And because they'll say, well, media companies don't talk about themselves. What is meant by the fact that we need to become media companies is not that we need to market like media companies. It is that we need to treat content and the process of content as a function in the business in, in as strategic a way as they do. This idea comes from a guy by the name of Paul Virilio. And Paul Virilio was a French culturist, sociologist, philosopher. I think that's mostly the job title for every French person I know. CMOs right now are under more pressure than ever before for leadership in the business and for leadership in differentiating their brand out there. And so that starts with enabling their marketers to really create content for value in its own right. So that's a cultural change in the business. Content marketing. Uh, you know, it's obviously not the opposite of discontent. Marketing. That is correct. All right. That is correct. But no, you will find most of them out there are quite discontent. Are they? Yes. Is that just because yeah, they're no. marketers? That's right. That, well, that's why they're here. I have an English literature degree, which makes me perfect for marketing, right? I can teach Chaucer or go into marketing. Marketing is much more lucrative, let me tell you. What if we're wrong? Like, what if, we're, what if I'm wrong about all this value? What if I'm wrong about the competency? I'm wrong about the cash? I'm wrong about all this stuff? All those things, those are outliers that are happening. What if we're wrong? CEO came up to me and said, yeah, I don't believe. I don't believe in the content marketing. I don't believe that we can do this. I don't believe that that audience, I don't believe that that's our business. I said, great, don't. I said, but are you creating more content or less content this year? And they said, well, we're creating more. 200% more if you believe Forrester. Every year we're creating more and more content. I said, great, that's a cost, right? Independent of how you look at it, it's a cost. Yes, it's a cost. Doesn't it even then just make sense to get your arms around that cost? To create a strategy and a vision for content in your organization, even if the only benefit is to get your arms around the cost that you're already spending. And he said, yes. And I said, great. Now we agree that a content marketing strategy is important. Now all we're differing on is all the different kinds of value that it can provide. And so let's talk about it. Let's experiment. Let's work. Let's actually try and invent the disaster. One of my favorite examples of all time of this is what happened in the early 1900s in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. And of course, this is the Wright brothers and their first experimental plane flights. And when this happened in Kitty Hawk, you would have thought that the world exploded. You would have thought that it would have been an amazing thing. Like everybody would go, oh my God, this is amazing. We have to do this. But it didn't. We had our heads so wrapped around that human flight was absolutely impossible. It was three years. It wasn't that they kept it a secret, but it was three years after they did their first test flight in Kitty Hawk that the New York Times had an article 
where the, there was a guy interviewed who was a hot air balloonist who at, was asked, is there any possibility of human flight ever? And he said, I think there's some interesting experiments going on in Kitty Hawk. So work quietly as we work through this. Working quietly through all of the things we're doing. And as you go forward from these days and really figure out how content's going to affect your business, I hope we'll all go quietly and invent the disaster together. Thank you so much for having me today. Really appreciate it.